you go, you deal with it, you can move on. We're not Gaza and we don't have to live in a shelter. However, can you imagine what it would be like if terrorists who live in Shpen, right near Lomaret, or Janin, or Ramallah, or Kalkilia had missiles? I shudder to think about the prospect of what life would be like in my community of Modin, or other places like Beit Shemesh, Renana, Netanya, Jerusalem, it would be like living next to Gaza. Because of the men and women, children and students that live and study in the Lomaret and the surrounding communities, there's a strong idea of presence in the areas. The men and women, <clears throat> The men and women of the IDF are engaged in the quiet war on terror to disrupt the constant attempt to manufacture weapons and smuggle weapons into Yehud and Sharon. I've been visiting Dallas since 2015. And if there's one thing that stands out about this community is how important Jewish education is to each and every one of you. You are a community that not only talks the talk, but walks the walk when it comes to supporting your local schools. Max understood that to have a strong community in the Lower Moret, there needed to be a strong educational institutions. In 2016, we decided to open a middle school and we have grown from 95 students to 230 that started school today. I know personally how important basketball was in my development when I was in school. I'll never forget how my own principal would tell me that uh, if I ever had issues, I should go out and you know, play ball. And our current basketball and soccer court simply do not meet the, the needs of 230 students. It needs to be expanded so that more can kids can play there at one time. The court itself needs to be repaved. We need new baskets, bowls, volleyball nets. The total cost of this project is $180,000. We've received about $22,000 in funding from the Sharon Regional Council and through another gift uh, from another donor, another $5,000. While well, we're hoping to have raised the funds so that the court could have been ready before the school year started, uh, that didn't work out, but we're hoping that after Young Kipper, we will be able to uh, we will able to complete the project. We're hoping that in memory of Max, and for the kids of the Yeshiva High School of Alomar and Tukua, that we will be able to raise a significant portion of the money needed for this project. I'm gonna show a very short video that uh, we put together with a message from the people. Hi everybody in Dallas, this is Samir Goodman speaking to you from Jerusalem. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Shukri Nirel from uh, Kofar Safar. I, uh, I live in Lomore and I wanted to share a story with you. Um, I, I started this year, I had a little bit of problems with my friend. And I told you when I had a little problem, I was going to the court. And that was my like the best way for me to get happy. I think the truth and the truth is that people are not happy and they're very broken. They broke my feelings and my heart is very broken. So I needed the truth and I did my treatment. I want to congratulate everybody on this beautiful initiative. What a great way to honor Max and his legacy by providing these beautiful students um, an amazing basketball. The court was a place that like came to me like on my time trip. And from the court, I learned a lot. He said a lot of stuff and that's the ball and I learned from those that they knew how to be a leader um, to other kids. They can train, feel better about themselves, which will ultimately allow them to do better in their studies and live a, a more happy and meaningful life, as well as increase the positivity throughout the school and the community. This year, like a lot of kids came, we don't have a lot of space there, and we need your help. I want to thank you all the donors for your support. 
So out of the shoes, the next thing you do, I'm big and you wear the local basketball court. The court can bring so much goodness to everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who helped make this possible. Continued blessings and success to all. And may Max look down from heaven and be proud of all this incredible work. So thank everybody for coming. Um, if you want to know specific amounts, uh, um, we need four baskets, like four basket sets. Each one is $5,400. Each soccer bowl, we need four soccer bowls, $1,800. Uh, two volleyball nets, net kits, which are $720. Um, you can either write a check to um, to you know, the shop. I forgot the I forget the name of the fund that uh, maxed it up. Um, Ishag Wad. Ishag Wad. Ishag Wad. Okay, or you can write it directly to, uh, to our 501c3. And uh, I have uh, left um, I've left uh, maps, I've left our, uh, our Russia Shaman newsletter that just came out. Um, and you can be in touch. Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember that. Well, you're well, you're good health, happiness, peace, and prosperity. And 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 you. Everybody, we know our community, the doctor and Mrs. Guamu. I can never say that right. Aloha. Well, are my dearest next door residents and a partner of Dr. This doctor is a partner of Dr. Kravitz. Right. So I just want you to know this, these are one. Loving and I'm honored to have them as my next door friends.